Hello and welcome to today's George's Travels. I'm George Francis. Today we're in Perth, Australia and we're going to take a look at Perth's Bell Tower. Many visitors to Perth's Bell Tower prefer to commemorate their visit by hanging a lock of love. Opened in the year 2000 as part of the Millennium Project, the Bell Tower has been visited by over one million local and international visitors. The clock mechanism behind me was built by J.B. Joyce Whitchurch all the way back in 1896, originally for the tower of the Royal Ascot Racecourse, and it was later removed and installed here in 2006. So here at the Bell Tower in Perth, Australia, you can have general admission for $9, but for $18 you also get to ring the bell. So let's, let's do that. Sure. Yep. And on top of the Perth, Australia Bell Tower, you get a great view from the observation deck at level 6 of the Great Swan River. Now the bells behind me are over 600 years old and they were originally installed in St. Martin's, a famous, famous cathedral in London, England. Now back in the mid 80s they were found to be structurally unsound and they were in poor repair. They decided to melt them down but as soon as the Swan Bell Foundation of Australia found that out, they decided to rescue the bells and after lengthy negotiations they made a new set of bells for the tower and the original ones came here. And behind me is the oldest bell in Australia built in 1550 by John Sanders of the UK. All right, we're going to go ring some bells. So we're in Perth today at the uh, Perth Bell Tower. We're standing on level one and we're about to go through the doors and ring the bell. It's going to be really cool. I think I'm going to be pretty professional at it. We're standing here with Mike and he's uh, going to be our tour guide today. Mike, how are you doing? Good, thanks. Uh, so these bells are over 600 years old, but they're not originally from here? That's correct. They actually come from the church St. Martin in the Fields in mm -hmm. Trafalgar Square in London, England. Um, so they're 17th century bells dating back to 1725 and 26 and we have a set of 18 and we're actually going to get yourself um, and maybe someone else from the tour as well to uh, have a go of chiming on We, we get to actually pull the string. That's right, you're going to be pulling on the ropes. That's awesome. It's going to um, be unbelievable. So for like 275 years these things have rung in the new year. Uh, what other things have they rung for? They ring for different events and occasions including the coronations of kings and queens um, and even the homecoming of uh, certain people, yeah, including right. uh, Captain James Cook. We're going to go inside and ring some bells right now. Sure. Uh, cheers, mate. So, Mike, you've got a small simulation here of what's above our heads That's in the bell tower. Now, what exactly is happening with this? So, when our bells are facing down, like this one here is, um, and we pull on the rope in a uh, certain way, we can actually sound the bell. And this is known as chiming a bell. When our bell ringers come in the tower, they actually have the bells facing up with the aid of this wooden post called a stay, and that allows our bells to sit upright, like so. And by pulling on the rope, you can actually rotate the bell a full 360 degrees around. This is known as change ringing and allows the bell ringers to have very good timing and allows them to do the changes. All right, well that's pretty awesome. We're going to have a go of that right now, right? Yep, that's right. All right. So here we are. We're going to take a uh, whack at ringing the bells, if that's a that's proper correct. term there. Yeah, uh, chiming. How, how does this work? Um, so we're actually going to have two hands at forehead height just here, and we start by pulling down on the rope, going up and down. And when you want the bell to sound, you simply stop your hands from going past and pulling back, known as changing the bell. Or 
sounds complicated, but I think I'm going to try it. Right, when you're ready, Sorry. two hands at forehead height. And start by pulling down. Now this thing's not going to pull me through the ceiling, is it? I no. Mean, I, I don't weigh that much. No, you're all good. All right. When we're chiming, go for it. Up and down, keeping your hands on the rope. And then it's perfect. Awesome. Now for my next piece, I'm going to play some Van Halen. Oh, go for it. Uh, you mind if I try some of these other bells yeah. over here? Now, both, you know, not all these bells are the same height or the same weight. They're, they, they, they feel heavier than the other ones. So the harder ones are a little bit harder to ring unless you choke the uh, rope, I guess, right? Yeah, so they're different sizes, different weights, and that affects the pitch as well. Alright, well this is pretty awesome. I'm a bell ringer, can you believe it? That's right mate, well done. So now I'm officially a bell ringer. What's, what's this? You've got a certificate, certified bell chimer right here. Check it out, pretty cool. That's well right. thanks Mike for showing us the bells. No worries, we'd love to see everyone coming to the bell tower here, home of the Perth Swan Bells. All right. Cheers. And that's all the time we have for today's George's Travels. Make sure you stop by the Perth Bell Tower and give it a ring. You'll be glad you did. I'm George Francis. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.